frugal friends. I'm Shannon and I blog about simple solutions for six-figure debt. Today I'm going to share with you how to use the cash envelope system to stay on budget, save money, and pay off debt fast. So as I'm making this video, it is May 31st and we have already done our June budget and we know where every single dollar is going to go this whole month. And we have withdrawn money for our cash envelopes and already stuffed them and they are ready to go. So the first thing that you obviously need to do is to make your budget. So sit down with your spouse, list out everything you can possibly think of that you're going to spend money on. Allocate your income to each budget expense. If you want me to do a more in-depth budgeting video, leave a comment below. So once you've done your budget and you know how much you're going to need to spend on utility, your mortgage or rent, uh, transportation. Once you have all of those, then you're going to have uh, some extra money left over. This is where things get really tricky with budgeting because you have that miscellaneous category and this is where people tend to overspend. To prevent that, cash envelopes are a really great tool. So we really have four main cash envelope categories every month. So groceries, fun money, and my husband and I each get our own fun money envelope, and then gifts, so birthday gifts, teacher appreciation week, little gifts like that that you totally forget about and end up running out last minute and overspending on. And then also we have a miscellaneous envelope. Last month my um, son needed a prescription that we totally weren't expecting and so that would go in the miscellaneous category. I will show you guys our cash envelopes. So like here's our grocery one and these are ones that I made myself and I have them for you guys for free. I have a link below. It has all my budgeting printables and um, cash envelopes and I have I think like I don't know 10 or 11 categories in there of cash envelopes and also a blank one that you can write your own category on. So some other categories that you might want to make a cash envelope for would be things like um, since it's summer lawn care, kids activities, entertainment, car repairs, and one really important one, even though it's June, is a Christmas fund. So you might start putting a little bit of money aside each month to start saving for Christmas if you haven't already done that. Okay, so now you chose all your categories. Now we're gonna fill up those envelopes. One struggle that people have in their budget is they think it should be the same every month, but you have to start at the beginning of the month. You have to look over what holidays there are, whose birthday is it, what activities do the kids have at school, and you have to change up your budget every month. Otherwise, it just won't work. Now, there are some things that we know we're going to use the debit card for like we're um, going to be ordering a bunk bed for our kids because they're going to share a room in our new house when we move and so we're going to order that on walmart.com we did not cash that out for a cash envelope because we know we're going to be ordering it online but we have already decided that that's where the money's going and we'll track it on the every dollar app which we love to use and which is dave ramsey's budgeting app the next thing you want to make sure you do to have success with cash envelopes is do not cheat when the money runs out in the grocery envelope, that is it. In fact, at the end of last month, we needed a couple things, but we were totally out of cash in the grocery envelope. And so we have like a change jar and we got quarters and went to the store and bought like some apples or something. We are loyal to our cash envelopes and that's why they work. It's a commitment you're making to yourself and to your budget and it will work awesome if you commit to it. And another tip is that if you don't succeed with the cash envelopes, don't give up. You can try again next month. It's not the end of everything. If you go over a little bit or if you catch yourself cheating on your envelopes, it's okay, especially if you're just starting out. Give yourself some grace. Try again and regroup next month and you'll get better and better every month. We were definitely not perfect when we started doing this in January and now we're going into June and it's just like second nature to us. So I briefly touched on this in the beginning of the video, but questions I get asked a lot are if you do a lot of online shopping, how do you deal with that with the cash envelopes? What we usually do is we will make the online purchase and then we'll physically take the cash out of the envelope and then put it into a community envelope which will go back into the bank or we'll back into the envelopes at the end of the month um, to when we do the next month's envelopes. Also, people often ask if you need to carry around the envelopes with you everywhere you go. I keep my fun money envelope with me most of the time. As far as groceries, 
we usually keep that um, in our house and then whenever we're going out to go grocery shopping then we take what we need from the grocery envelope that way we don't overspend on our weekly grocery budget which we try to keep it around or under a hundred dollars a week so I hope you found this video helpful if you're trying to get started with the cash envelope budgeting system. It can be challenging at first, but it is really worth it to your budget. And especially if you're trying to pay off debt, it is a really useful tool in getting your budget on track. I have some really good tips in another video I made, which I'll link below. That will show you um, seven things that you need to do before you even start your debt payoff and budgeting journey. So go watch that if you're feeling totally clueless on how you're gonna be able to even start this cash envelope thing. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos and also as I share our debt-free journey. And don't forget to pick up your very own cash envelope printables and that is linked below. So I will see you guys next time.